Hello, everyone. This is Jeff Rumberg. I'm a managing partner with MetricNet, and today I'm excited to announce that MetricNet's Service Desk Balance Scorecard is available for download. This out of the box tool enables you to easily track and trend the performance of your service desk. We've designed the scorecard to make it as easy for you as possible. So let's take a look at the scorecard in Excel format. When you download the scorecard in Excel format, it's going to open up to this initial data entry tab. But I want to point out that we've included definitions of every metric in the scorecard in this tab on the far left, and we've also included a sample scorecard on the tab right next to that to illustrate what your scorecard output will look like each month. Now, if we take a look at the initial scorecard tab, you will notice that it is not yet populated. There's no data in the scorecard yet. So let's go through a hypothetical example back on the data entry page. Let's call this the Acme Corporation. And we're going to enter some hypothetical data. Let's assume that this organization is handling 5,000 tickets per month and has a 10 minute handle time. The headcount is 11 analysts. The average salary is 44,500 per year. The customer satisfaction is running at 90%. Let's assume that the first contact resolution rate is running at 75% on average per month. Uh, analyst job satisfaction is 80%. And let's assume that our speed of answer is 90 seconds. Now, what you'll notice is that while we were entering that data, some calculations were being made down here below. MetricNet scorecard is set up to automatically calculate any of these so-called compound metrics, including your estimated annual operating expense, your cost per analyst assisted contact or ticket, and also your analyst utilization. Now, one important implication is that you don't have to spend a lot of time and effort to update your scorecard each month. All you need to do is input a few basic pieces of information. In addition to the calculations for cost and utilization, some other things were happening in the background. If we navigate back to the initial scorecard, you'll notice that it now looks a lot more like the sample that we saw earlier. Acme's estimated cost per ticket and the data we entered on the prior tab now appears in this column over here that says your performance. The only action you need to take on this tab is to add the current month and year in the highlighted cell up here. So let's say we're in April 20, whatever the year happens to be. Now the chart to the right also has automatically updated to show how Acme Corporation stacks up compared to 20 other service desks in the industry. And I want to emphasize that this is real benchmarking data over here, real benchmarking data from 20 other service desks Turns out that Acme Corporation is performing quite well. In fact, they are in second place overall for this particular month. Now we recommend including this chart in your next monthly report, but that's not all because the scorecard also gives you the ability to track and trend your performance over time. Let's continue our example and go to the tab that says month two. Now we've carried over the logic from our initial data entry. So again, there's no need to make any calculations yourself. MetricNet scorecard does all the work for you. You simply need to enter the current month and year in this cell. Since our last month was April, let's call this May 20. Okay, so we've entered that information. And this month, let's assume, let's jump down here to data entry. If we click that, we go to the data entry down, down here. Let's assume that we're handling now 5,500 tickets per month and that our handle time is now 12 minutes. Let's assume our head count remains steady at 11 and that the starting salary is still 44,500. And that our customer satisfaction, let's say that it dropped to 82% this month and that our first contact resolution rate is now at 65%. Our job satisfaction is at 68% and our speed of answer went up to 110 seconds. You can see what Acme's position compared to the peer group 
is now, and it dropped slightly to third place. We were in second place on our initial scorecard. Let's go back and look at that. There we are in second place. Here we are month two in third place. So we see now a two month trend in the scorecard. Now for the purposes of this video, I've already completed a few additional months of hypothetical data. So let's go to our scorecard trends tab. And what you're going to see here is a trend in the scorecard over time. You can see how you're trending month over month. But you can look also at how you're trending with each metric in the scorecard. Here's our trend in cost per analyst assisted contact, our trend in customer satisfaction, our trend in analyst utilization, our trend in first contact resolution rate, analyst job satisfaction, and speed of answer. Simple fact is this. The MetricNet Service Desk Balance Scorecard will dramatically improve your ability to answer two critically important questions. Number one, how are we performing? And secondly, how are we trending over time? So what are you waiting for? I'd encourage you to visit metricnet.com forward slash scorecard and download the Service Desk Balance Scorecard today. Thank you. This is Jeff Rumberg from MetricNet.